Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me and in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. California Republic. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mm, what a joke. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but, uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. You'll see. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. But we don't know anybody here. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... Not for one second. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? 
<laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, there's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really exist. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. We... You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement suited me just fine. You do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. Stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. Fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. 
No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. I just need to confirm. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some sore vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so... Good Wasn't news, my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea.